Okay. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm doing well. What about you? Huh? I'm doing well too. So tell me a little more about you. Where are you from? What do you do? Okay. So yeah, uh, as you know, my name is Sonam and uh, I live in uh, Patna. And right now I'm doing job as a beautician. And right now I'm at the salon. And apart from it, I love to do play uh, in my free time badminton. And my hobbies are I love to uh, singing a song and yoga, bike riding. And the uh, uh, last one is, um, I actually I forgot it. Uh, yeah, singing mm -hmm. yoga. Yeah, these are my hobbies. You're an all rounder. Uh, no, not like that. Oh, okay. But yeah, I love to do these things. Yeah, yeah. Are you also fitness conscious? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm also fitness conscious. Hmm. Nice. So, oh. it is your salon or you're working for somebody else? No, I'm working for somebody else, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I'm here as a uh, staff. It's not my own. Hmm. How's the experience? How long have you been working in this field? Yeah, I have almost done in this field uh, four years because I have done this course. Uh, from Mumbai, uh, to, I think 2019, and since I am working for this uh, field. Do you, do you wish to start something of your own very soon? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, planning. Uh, actually, I'm uh, I'm doing planning for my own salon. Uh, right now, I am doing work here because I I just gain experiences or uh, like all the part of salon like managing how to how to do manage stuff how to do manage uh, no product stock how to manage market so all these things i just came here and after that i want to open my own you want to apply all the knowledge that you gain from here in starting your own business yes ma'am okay okay because i'm just trying to actually it is my second call uh, on video call with you First, I did attend uh, Minu Puri, ma'am. Uh, yeah, day before yesterday, and uh, yeah, little that was bit I guess. Yeah, yeah, with you first, and I did, I had attend one video call on Minu Puri, ma'am, day before yesterday. So yeah, little bit. How was your experience? Uh, yeah, it was good experience about on video call uh, talking with the uh, as a tutor, uh, not not as a tutor, not as a learner. So yeah, uh, it is good uh, about because I'm using also uh, uh, Fluence Life app, Fluency Life app. So yeah, there are so many people who is co learner, but um, you know they can't uh, correct uh, with me, uh, they can't correct our mistake. So that will be not very uh, useful for uh, me because I had uh, paid lots of money uh, during this. Uh, I think uh, during this uh, learning period, like when I was in Mumbai. So that time I did pay lots of money for spoken English, but never I get any more for this language. So I just mm, thinking you, about you this. never got any benefits after spending yes. money also. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. So, is your level of English still the same before taking um, the classes and after the classes? Yes, ma'am. Actually, you know, um, I I know I I do lots of mistake during the conversation, but uh, in my case, uh, whenever I talk with the people, mm. if I'm talking with the people uh, in flow, uh, in flow, so that time I okay. I'm able You're to talk with the people. In a flow, in a flow, is that yeah, what you meant? Okay. So yeah, that time I'm confident, little bit confident and little bit uh, able to talk with the in front of the people. But whenever I take a poses, so that time I get stuck and I totally uh, got blank, even get blank. I don't, I never understand how to make a sentence. You can say nervousness or lack of knowledge, lack of confidence. So yeah, these are problems. It could be because of lack of practice as well. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because I use lots of application, or uh, I use lots of application like H two N C and uh, Joe Stock. So, uh, I did use these are uh, application, but I never get uh, I think beneficial uh, for our practice because whenever I want to talk with the person, sometimes I uh, I get connect uh, those wrong person who don't want to learn, who just want to take uh, as a fun way and just want to time pass. 
So jump into these that problem also. But actually, I want to take a paid course for any application. But uh, there are also one of my problem. If I'm taking any paid course and I'm doing job full time working, so my time is uh, at my salon. I reach there around around eleven, and I uh, back up here for uh, back up here by eight uh, p.m. You come back home at eight p.m. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, but uh, there are platforms which are twenty four seven, right? So you can take it any time. Okay, okay. Because I I don't have idea about it, so I I'm thinking about it. So what should I do for my uh, I think fluency? Because without tutor, yeah, you no. Know, in Hindi, uh, we say without guru ka gyan nahi hota. Aap ki dhari dhar se le lo, but koi fayda ka nahi rahega. So that's why I'm thinking about it. Without good uh, tutor, I can't able to un uh, understand la this language, and I can't able to influence it. You won't be able to. Can't able. You cannot use both of them together. You won't be able to improve. Yeah, yeah. I won't be able to speak in uh, fluency. Yeah. Because tutor will give you feedback. What you yes, want to improve? What you should improve on? What practice more you should do? What are your mistakes? When the, when we correct one of your sentences, you will know that you should not be speaking that sentence again. So yeah. you kind of realize. Otherwise, you continue speaking the same way for a long time. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, they will correct us and uh, they will guide us how to do um, take a next step to our good uh, path. So these are things. Uh, without a tutor, it is impossible to you know good way how to speak in English. It is possible, but it will take a lot of effort from your end in order to yes. improve. Yeah. Yes. Actually, I I first uh, taught the uh, you know web series in English, and uh, I watched lots of conversation videos uh, from like uh, Aminu Puri ma'am and Rajni Verma ma'am, and also your videos. And uh, yeah, I watched uh, podcast. And uh, some of the time, whenever I free time in my salon, so I want to just um, listen without watching. Just I want to listen. I just play any kind of English content video, and just I want to try listening these videos for uh, at least ten to fifteen minutes whenever I get free time. Mm. You're working hard from eleven to eight is a lot of time, right? Yes, I mean this field. Yeah, there is nothing you can say very tough. But apart from it, if I am doing going for any office work, so yeah, there are um, there are mental pressure is too much. But in in our field, like in a salon line, uh, there is physically work lots of. There is not mentally work because I I have uh, like I get a lots of experiences uh, another field also like. Previous motor and the real estate, courier and the receptionist and the hotel, uh, hostel warden. So I did these type of uh, experiences. I, I, how I can say, uh, I gained. Yeah, I gained a lot of experience and I worked in different fields as well. Okay, I, I get different. I I have worked I have worked in a lot of different fields and I have gained knowledge. Okay. Okay. Got it. Hmm. Yeah. So many like you switched your careers, right? What is your qualification? I have done graduation and uh, after that I did a. Uh, Um, petition course from Mumbai, uh, 2019, and then I did join this field because uh, before uh, doing uh, before doing uh, petition course, I go for a uh, job, cabin crew job. Uh, but there is lots of fraud for a cabin crew job. I went. So, yeah, I went uh, for cabin crew job, but uh, some of uh, I think some of my friend who said like there is a, a not uh, true because they just take a amount and they didn't provide a campus selection and uh, they just said uh, yeah our college is good and all but uh, after that I just uh, left there and I did join. Petition of you left that coaching midway. You took half yes. the coaching and you left it, and you joined the beautician course. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. So, are you satisfied with your career choice? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, ma'am
Uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. Uh, what, you know, I'm happy with my work. I love my work because I love to do makeup and I love to do hair do. I love to do uh, hair cut. So yeah, I'm happy with uh, this work. There's a lot of background noise. Someone else uh, is talking. Yeah, yeah, actually. Because you're in your workplace, right? So. Mm, yeah, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, okay. actually. I so did you have any questions? Did you have any questions you wanted to ask me anything? Yeah, so um, what should I do for my, I think, influency and whenever I was uh, totally blank during conversation, so what should I do for uh, this type of problem? See, if possible, if it is possible for you, you can join spoken English platforms. Do your research because mm -hmm. there are platforms that give you 24-7 access. You can join any time of the day or night. Okay, after mm -hmm. finishing your work, you can do or you're starting late right at 11 o'clock so try to have a session uh, at 10 9 30 10 you can book your session and take a session like that if it is convenient for you paying yeah. them and learning if it is convenient you can do that because then you will get a feedback constructive feedback and you will be able to improve better because your english is good your fluency is good you have some minute grammar grammar issues here and there and the issue of going blank that will go once you have a lot of practice of speaking in video calls, especially because video calls are tough. Looking at a person and speaking simultaneously mm -hmm. thinking. So you don't have the time to think at all. Whatever mm -hmm. is ha happening in your mind should happen simultaneously in your speech. So mm -hmm. th uh, the, otherwise in audio calls, you're not looking at the person and all your senses are involved only in speaking. But video calls, mm -hmm. it gets distributed. You have to look at the person and speak. It is difficult. You need more practice of video calling. You can do that either by reaching out to many people or, and having okay. sessions on Skype or any other application. You can have video calls like that. Or you can reach out to YouTubers and have a session. Mm -hmm. Try to have yeah. at least four or five sessions in a week. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because it is beneficial, ma'am. Because uh, whenever I I connect with the any uh, YouTuber or any tutors, so yeah, they have lots of knowledge about this language. So yeah, that will be good for us. Without tutor or without uh, experience holder, it is not a cup of tea. You can say. Yes, yeah, yes, because... it's not easy. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Mm. And how important is English for you? Uh, did you ask question or just say something? No, no, I'm asking you, how important is English for you and why do you want to improve? Okay, uh, so yeah, you uh, you can say, uh, say uh, it is my, uh, since childhood, I, I, want to, I want to just speak this language with, uh, with uh, my friends or somebody else, like my teacher also. So yeah, they speak, uh, basically I belong to Hindi medium. Uh, but yeah, uh, my brother has uh, done their study in English medium and yeah, uh, it speaks very uh, good in this uh, very good in English. Uh, very good English. Then, he speaks yeah. very good English, but you are from in Hindi medium. Yeah, I am from Hindi medium. So yeah, but uh, whenever I meet a stranger and uh, actually I was spent uh, almost uh, six to seven years in Mumbai. So the people are mostly speaking English and uh, I think they are famous three things in Mumbai. Uh, uh, first one is uh, way speaking, which is English and second one is earphone and third one is for girls and third one is lipstick which is too much famous like in mumbai uh, whenever you show any girl without earphone without you lipstick see? you can't mm. see okay. so i was i was uh, I, I think i did notice uh, these type of things and if i have a good communication or uh, doing uh, in front of the person like who who is your colleague or who is your uh, boss if you have a good communication, then they will get you, you know, a chance to your office. Because if you are doing it there uh, in Mumbai, if you are doing job as a simple office, a simple work, but they want to your good English, if you don't have to talk in a you know, good way, they can't give you chance. So that's why I, 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 actually, I was thinking about it. So yeah, language is most important. Uh, doesn't matter where uh, where do, did you belong to and the where you belong from. You need to first enhance your way of speaking. Mm. 
So Patna is your home or Mumbai? Uh, no, uh, Patna is not my home. I stay here for study and job, job purpose. I stay here with my sister. And uh, uh, basically, I belong to uh, another district, which is called Bhaka. Okay, from Bihar itself. Yes, yes. Okay. I was new nice. so a fighter. Extra. Sorry. You're a fighter. You're an independent woman. You did things oh. for yourself, right? You studied, you yeah. learned things, you worked. Now you shift your career and you still you're working, still you're fighting. Uh, yeah, you can say uh, because after 12th, I did uh, join job and all. So yeah, right now I'm here. Mm -hmm. So along with your job, you did your graduation. Mm, yeah, yes, ma'am. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. Your nature, what is your nature like? Are you bold, extrovert? Mm, no, I'm not extrovert. I'm introvert. But yeah, uh, whenever I need to temptation, uh, if I need to say yes, then I will say yes. If there is need to say no, so yeah, I will say no. It's not like that. Uh, so somebody get upset uh, if I say no. It, it, I, this type of things I don't consider. Because it is, you know, uh, it is totally, uh, you can say, harmful for myself. So we need to do these all things which is uh, required for ourselves. Mm. So you're a you're a straightforward person. You're straightforward yes, you and you don't hesitate to say no to anybody. And I think such qualities will develop once you are interacting with a lot of people. Once you are in out about in the public, then public teaches you all these things. So don't yes, worry about others. Think about you and be comfortable. Yes, yes, ma'am. Because people just want to know you. If you are doing uh, something good, then that is also uh, good. If you are doing something bad, that is also uh, bad. That is also good because they can't uh, do. Uh, they can't help you. They can't. Uh, no, they can't try to solve the, your problem. So whenever you need to say no, you can. You can say. You whenever you need to say yes, then you can say yes because. Don't think like that. If you uh, say no, so these people get upset. It is, I think, uh, not good quality, according to mm. me. Yeah. So I think you learned your English by working, right? Because you've worked in different fields and that is how you improved your English. Because being from Hindi medium background, you are speaking good English. Yeah, actually, uh, I'm uh, actually, uh, when I was uh, in Mumbai, so uh, these days I would just uh you no know, notice the people talk to in this language so uh i took a uh, six months to kind of, i think uh, theoretical classes i took there but it okay. is not work for me because grammar is not only for uh, good for your way of speaking it is just for your theoretical knowledge uh, if you want to be fluent so you need to just speak after that you you can understand where i need to use these are that, these that so it is totally depend your practical knowledge yeah, yeah, that is how, like, uh, you cannot study grammar for spoken English. You just have to mm -hmm. learn it by speaking because you won't remember it anyways. So learn by having more speaking practice, more conversations. So that is what I want to tell you as well. That is the feedback. You, Your grammar is almost 90% there, just minute here and there. You are making mistakes and you need a lot of speaking practice to gain confidence and to uh, be talking in a flow no matter what happens. You will not go blank. For that, you need a lot of speaking practice. So that is what you can do. Do your research. If you want to join any classes, please do so. Give yourself three months time and see if they are helping you or no. The classes are helping you or no. Just give yourself some time and then decide. Then see what works best for you. But keep practicing at least with one person in a day. Something like this you can do. Yeah, because nowadays I am thinking about it. Um, I don't go for any paid course. Just I want to talk with the stranger or tutor. That will be a uh, work for my way of language because I pay lots of money and it will be not work for me because they provide only theoretical knowledge and they just say do these things, do these things. So it is good for me uh, uh, how I can do anything. I know very well we need to just listening or uh, writing, uh, read, uh, writing and speaking. And they are watching some English content. So that will be enough for our speaking. And if I paid, so I don't have that much time to so go for there and uh, listen and thinking. So it is enough for myself how I can uh, do manage everything. I know very well. So yeah, I need to just uh, 
practical knowledge i need to just talk in with the tutor or call uh, the uh, native speaker which is helpful my uh, way of speaking Mm. For that, you need to like join spoken English platforms, not the other platforms which teach you English, because then yeah, you don't want to learn grammar and everything. You just need speaking practice. So there are platforms: English, Shari, Clapping, Going, Talkie. There are a lot, a lot of platforms. Do your research and choose a platform which is available according to your timing, and uh, then you give it a try. Yeah. So if you don't mind, ma'am, can you see? Uh, tell me about yourself a little bit. Where Where do you belong from? I am from Karnataka. I am from Karnataka, and I used to work as a spoken English trainer as well on Ink Talki. But after starting my channel, I have started working independently. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you love to uh, South Indian food because the people are very uh, love to like idli, sambar. That is my food. Yeah, South Indian. Mm -hmm. We that is our uh, roots. Idli, dosa, everything we eat, yeah. upma. It's also, coconut famous. is not famous here. We use coconut, yes, but in Kerala, it is more famous because okay. they make oil and they cook in coconut oil, and every dish they prepare is coconut based. But okay. that is not so much here in Karnataka. Okay. So, uh, yeah, can you give me my feedback, ma'am, like uh, um, where I am in this language? Yeah, yeah, you are good. That's what I told you. You are good. You are fluent. You are talking well. Um, only thing that is, is some grammar issues are there, and you are telling that you are going blank because I didn't face it in this conversation. I didn't feel that you were going blank at any point. You spoke fluently throughout the conversation. So if you are feeling that you are going blank, I would say do more of speaking practice. That's it. Your English is quite good. Improve a little bit on your grammar. That's it. Yeah, yeah, it is my problem. Whenever I just think about it too much, and whenever I take a pause, little bit pause, so that time I go blank. What I do, what's uh, I think, um, like uh, what I say next. So yeah, these are my problems. What should I say next? You don't know because that is yeah. called conversational skills. Like English yes. is separate, but conversational skills are something different. Learning to talk to people, mm -hmm. so you have to improve on that. Okay. Yeah, actually, I watch your lots of videos, and yeah, uh, way of uh, I think way of teaching your and uh, Minu Puri ma'am is I think too good, uh, very cool and calm way, and you know people are whenever connect with the tutor, so they get totally nervous, and uh, they just think about what should I do and what I say, just get nervous, and they if if they know how to talk, they totally that time blank and uh, yeah, agitated. Mm -hmm. But yeah. If in front of the P, uh, tutor is and uh, I think cool and calm whenever uh, people think about yeah I, I'm able to do to talk to him or her. Yes, yes, yeah. I think you should experience more of this talking to tutors because something if you are scared of something, try to experience it more often, and slowly you will get out of the mindset and you will be comfortable with everything. Yeah, actually, right. I most I watch videos whenever I go for my uh, I think a breakfast and if I go uh, for my uh, lunch and when I did uh, I think something uh, if I'm writing something so that time I also pro, uh, played any kind of conversational videos and okay. where I noticed how I can use uh, asking to the person if in front of the person if uh, asking uh, asking for me how to uh, say how to how I can reply him or her. How I can put oh. their question? How I can uh, put, uh, how I can them answer? So I notice these type of little bit things, and yeah, I apply it. Yeah, that is the beauty of conversations, right? So you learn how to ask and how to respond. That's nice. Continue your practice of listening and uh, speaking. Try to put speaking also in your daily habit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay so shall we end it here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, Thank you for connecting, sharing your experience. Have a good day and good luck. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much.